Welcome into the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Senior. We start off today's show with getting into the latest injury news on Trent Williams. Not able to play in that epic comeback against the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday. Coming back from 17-0 down. His status moving forward against the Dallas Cowboys in the wild card round right now unknown. It is also not yet known if he's going to be able to suit up for practice on Wednesday. So to summarize all of this, Trent Williams didn't play against the Rams because of an elbow injury that he had suffered in Trey Lance's second career start in week 17 against the Houston Texans. And everybody thought that on his 24th birthday, it was going to be the rookie fifth round pick out of Western Michigan, Jalen Moore getting the start at left tackle because he's gotten those reps all throughout the 2021 campaign when Trent Williams hasn't been in at that left side. Instead, it was Colton McKivitz and he was really up and down all throughout that game. But this is huge for San Francisco to get Trent Williams back because they're going up against a Dallas Cowboys defensive line that is one of the best in the NFL. Kyle Shanahan on the injury status of Trent Williams saying this quote, he wasn't going to be in a good enough shape to protect himself on Sunday or the quarterback in that game. That was tough on him because by the way, he has never won a playoff game, but I think he was as excited as anyone after we won because I know he's going to do everything he can and I think he just needs seven more days. Totally wait and see. I would be surprised if he does practice, but we'll see how it goes. I know he couldn't today. So that was the Kyle Shanahan update on Trent Williams on Monday. And with a couple more days for him to get right, hopefully that elbow will be able to heal up so that he's back on the field protecting Jimmy Garoppolo's blind side. If you don't have Trent Williams in this game against Dallas, it's going to be a massive loss. And it cannot be understated just how valuable he is to the Niners pass game as well as the run game and Dallas boosts a very good defense with some very good pass rushers in Micah Parsons Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory and that's a way for Dallas to really exploit a mismatch if McKivitz is playing at left tackle and they can really ruin the game if Garoppolo turns the football over by throwing an interception fumbling or if he gets hurt or they just get consistent pressure on him all throughout the day. Trent Williams, the highest graded football player on both sides of the ball in the NFL this year. An astounding overall grade of 98.3. Terrific. Was that contract this past offseason worth it? Making him the highest paid left tackle in NFL history? Yes. Pass blocking grade. Another elite number at 86 flat. Even better in the ground. Almost perfect, in fact. And how many times have we seen him in space? Just absolutely mauling cats. The silver back is special. 98 and a half run block grade this year. Another reason why San Francisco needs him come Sunday at AT&T Stadium so that they can put the Cowboys and Jerry Jones in shambles. So I want to get the good vibes going here on the 49ers report. And I know the Niner gang always responds in good fashion. Get into the comment section right now and type TW to wish the Silverback, an elite nickname by the way, a speedy recovery, all in hopes that he comes back in time for this game on Sunday, and be sure to do that in the comment section right now. Now today's show is presented to you by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Betting odds for this game. San Francisco, only three-point underdogs. Now, that's kind of... Oh, interesting stat and an interesting line because basically from the odds makers, this game is a pick 'em because naturally teams at home, especially in playoff games, automatically get three points. So this is really a pick 'em. Another reason why I think the Niners can pull off the upset over under pretty high for a playoff game at 49 and a half. And if you sign up with our sportsbook partner, BetUS, by going to chatsports.com slash 49 bet and enter the promo code Niners125, we will send you a free San Francisco 49ers jersey. Chase, what? Free jersey in my closet so that I can continue to support this playoff bound squad? That is correct. A free 49ers jersey if you plug in that link down below as well as that promo code. Right now, 
all sizes, scarlet red and white jerseys available for Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance, and George Kittle. Here are all the steps you must follow in order for us to send you a free jersey. Chatsports.com slash 49bet. Enter the promo code Niners125. Sign up and deposit at least $100. By doing that, you get automatically $125 additional dollars back. You just have to make a bet of any dollar significance. Then you email us that you followed those steps. Jersey at chatsports.com. We'll get you hooked up with some free 49ers jerseys. Thanks to our friends at Fanatics. Next up on the show, this offseason, could there be a lot of turnover on Kyle Shanahan's coaching staff and John Lynch's front office staff? A lot of members of this organization potentially getting pried away during the general managing hirings as well as some head coaching hirings across the National Football League. Peter Schrager of NFL Network saying this, the Giants have sought permission to interview San Francisco 49ers assistant general manager Adam Peters as well as director of player personnel Ran Carthen, who used to play for the Niners and a couple of other NFL squads. Albert Breer on top of that saying this, the Chicago Bears have put in a request to interview Ran Carthen as well for their general managing job, taking over for Ryan Pace. Carthen was also requested by the Giants. So two Niners front office members getting potentially interviewed by the Giants as well as the Chicago Bears. That's not it. Tom Pelissero, NFL Network. The Dolphins, after firing Brian Flores, put in a request to interview 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel for their head coaching job. The Yale grad is Kyle Shanahan's longtime right-hand man and the run game guru. The run game guru that has this Niners offense humming, rushing the football. Want to focus in on Adam Peters because last year he was actually a finalist for the Carolina Panthers general managing job and he didn't get that gig. Instead, they decided to go elsewhere with head coach Matt Rule. Right now, he's in his fourth season as vice president of player personnel for San Francisco. He was really instrumental in helping to build the Broncos Super Bowl 50 roster, started as a scout, really involved in some of the draft day personnel decisions. Kyle Shanahan saying this week when he was asked about Peters that really it was Peters who identified Debo Samuel at South Carolina. He also worked for the New England Patriots several years ago. So up to this point, Adam Peters really does have a stacked resume. And Kyle Shanahan really gave praise to Peters as well as Carthen saying, we've got a good staff here and what Peters has done for us in our five years here and how much he's helped us build this, what Rand Carthen has done. We've got a lot of guys here who I feel very fortunate to have. Now, a lot of you watching are probably very disappointed in this. Instead, I'm going to kind of look at this scenario in a glass half full approach because I'm the positive vibes guy. Good organizations oftentimes lose coaches as well as executives. Why is that? That means that they're having some level of success and other teams across the NFL are starved for some of that success and they want to find a way to bring these specific people into their organization to get that recipe for winning. So to lose some of these guys, of course it impacts the current status of the team. It just happened last year with Robert Sala taking the head coaching job with the New York Jets, but I actually think this is a good problem to have because it means Kyle Shanahan's building a good coaching staff and John Lynch is building a very good front office. How about D'Amico Ryans, the defensive coordinator for San Francisco? Could he be next? I think it's a little bit early because he's a first-year D.C. for him to be a head coach, but there's also this. Joe Judge of the New York Giants just fired today. Let's say that the Giants hire Adam Peters. If Adam Peters wants D'Amico Ryans or Mike McDaniel as the next head coach of the New York Giants, that's an easy segue to transition a couple of guys who have familiarity from San Francisco and the West Coast to the New York Giants on the East Coast to try to bring back one of the worst franchises in the NFL dating back to 2017. Producer of today's show, Marshall Green, put out a video on Joe Judge getting fired. It was absolutely lit. Be sure to check that out. 49ers defensive rankings. This is why D'Amico Ryans is starting to get some head coaching buzz. He's really boosted one of the better defensive units in the league this year with a very lackluster secondary. Number three in the NFL in total yards allowed throughout the regular season. Same stat for total yards per play. Number six in passing yards allowed. Number seven in rushing yards. And again, that's without a premier cornerback 
Good safety play, but bad cornerback play on this roster. Really impressive the adjustments that D'Amico Ryans has been able to make, stepping in the big shoes to fill for Robert Sala, and then the adjustments he's made along the way throughout the 2021 season. Kyle Shanahan, this is a good hire for D'Amico Ryans, and him bringing him in as the D.C., he let it be known that he loves Mufasa, another elite name to go along with Silverback. That's D'Amico Ryans' nickname, if you're not familiar. Quote from Kyle, I've seen head coach qualities out of D'Amico when he was a player, Texans and Eagles, when he was a quality control coach, when he was a linebacker coach, and now when he is a coordinator. So he's always had those qualities. It's just about him getting the reps and getting the experience. It's a matter of time with him. He also said, I hope it's not yet that D'Amico Ryans leaves and bolts for a head coaching job. I hope that's the case because I want Ryans to be back here next year. He's done marvelous work with the defensive line. I absolutely love how he's maximized the talents of Eric Armstead and Arden Key using former edge rushers, moving them on the interior, and basically when the Niners go with this NASCAR package up front with four edge rushers, that's how they're able to generate so much pressure on the quarterback. That's going to be one of the big key components if they want to upset the Dallas Cowboys and make it a long day for Dak Prescott. First year for D'Amico, how would you grade it as the defensive coordinator? A, B, C, D, or F? Given the circumstances, has to be an A or a B for me. You let me know in the comment section. And thanks for watching today's show.